Hey guys, it's your boy here and today we're gonna play some Summoner Sword. In this video, we're gonna have a tour with Akamomir and I'm gonna show you where he can be used and on what aspects in the game can be effective if you decide to build him. Okay, so these are his stats. So mainly, I want to improve on his speed um, so that he can't be caught by the enemy monsters. That's my priority for now for my Akamomir. So let's take a look at his runes very quickly. He's on Fatal Blade, attack with damage attack. So let's take a look at the 135 here. Okay. So let's take a look at his skills. So the first skill, um, you can. There's a chance for you to apply dots on the enemy, and the damage increases according to your attack speed. So it's similar to the first skill of the other Ifrits. So for the second skill, um, it attacks all enemies and. It has a chance to stun them, and the damage is proportionate to the to your max HP. I don't know why they did that, but you know it. It seems to be it doesn't make any sense because he's an attacker and it should be proportionate to his attack. Well, anyways, you can change anything about that. So the third skill, map Mac Crush, um, it also attacks um, all the enemies and the damage, damage increases by 30% for every harmful effect that you apply to the enemy monsters. So it hits, you know, pretty hard if you have um, many debuffs, debuffs on the enemy. And this leader skill is accuracy 41%. So, okay. So I'm gonna show you where can where you can use him and how can how can Akamomir um, affect your game and your progression on Summoner War. Okay, let's go. So just so you know, I sum I summoned my Akamomir on my first Ifrit summon. So he really helped my progression in the game and. He was my favorite monster back then when when I didn't have Sierra. So let's go. So if you're if you're happening to be just breaking in Giants B10, he can be very useful in Giants B10. So I'm gonna show you the team that I run in the past when I was just starting out. So, of course Bermos. Bernard, where is Bella, and of course Megan. So this team is um not that fast, of course, just because you're just breaking in Giants B10. Bermos is, as we all know, you can fuse him. Um, Akamamir, you can get him through if it summons. I just join a guild when you're just starting out. Bella is farmable in the secret dungeon. Bernard, he, um, come to us, uh, gives Bernard now for free. And Megan, if you don't have Megan, if you happen, if you don't summon her, um, she can be replaced by Shannon, of course. And Shannon is also given by come to us for free. So okay, let's start. So it's really a great addition to this team, and he brings a lot of dam damage output, so that you can have a better run, a faster run in Giants B10. I think this monster is really useful for free to play free to play players like me and it will I'm sure that it will also 
help you a lot when you're just starting out. That is why it's very important for you to join a guild, even though you're you're just new to the game. You know, you just you sledge out the guild points, even though you're not you're not a part of the um, attacking members. But, you know, gradually you will be given the chance to attack in the guild wars and just. You know, be part of a farming guild. That will help you a lot. Okay, we're in the third stage. Okay, onto the fourth stage. I think this run will take about two minutes. I think, as far as I can remember. So here we are on the boss fight. Okay. So you see um the buff from Megan really helps you. Gives you attack power and that extra defense boost. It really makes the run you know much safer. Okay, we're almost done with the Giants, D10 run, okay, so that, oh, 2 minutes and 18 seconds, so, if just starting out, just breaking in Giants B10, that, that will help you a lot, Akamamir will help you, in a, in a substantial way. It, it will pretty much speed up your runs in Giants B10 without sacrificing much of the success rate. Okay, let's move on. So, he is also an effective um, father farmer. And you can see it here. If he uses his skills right, you know, just use Mac Crush from the start, and then Super, the second skill on this, on the next one, you know, Super Crush, and then Mac Crush again on this third one. So you see, you can have a very fast run, very fast clear in this stage. So you see, 18 seconds without any help from. Of course, the other monsters because they're just fathers. Um, it will really help you progress in the game. You can level up your monsters faster. Um, you can level up your fathers, of course, faster. And the arena. It will help you a lot in clearing. Um, you know. When you're just farming um, all these glory points. Um, Galen here is the only one who is not not easy to obtain. Bernard and Barretta is really easy to obtain, of course. So you see damage output coming from this Akamamir. It's crazy and you know on my part he really helped me advance in the rankings in the arena but he at that time I really couldn't push up in C1 status because um, I don't have the arena defense you know to hold all the attackers during rush hour you know, my AO, no problem. Um, the only downside of this, you know, comp that I run from in the past uh, are well runes. But, you know, I have Tiana, so that really helped me. But, you know, for you guys who are just, who are just starting out, 
can always use Bernard and just hope that the enemy has no um, well runes. Okay. So, where do I use Akmomir? Where else? I think. Yeah, oh yeah. When. When I clear TOA, I use Akamomir on the um, lower floors, I think from floor 1 until 70, 70-ish, I think, to speed clear the, the floors, so it's really helpful. Okay, where, where can we use him? Kairos. Using in dragons, not in Acropolis. Um, here, of course, when you're farming with all these essences, magic essences and elemental essences, you can also use Aquamir here. You can see is in my team, my default team. You can use him pretty much everywhere, <laughs> I think. So. I think that's it for Akamomir. Um, I really like this monster a lot. He does a pretty good damage and he can really help you um, in your progression in the game. As you, can, as you saw earlier, um, speeds up the, your runs in Giant's B10 and um, in your farming essences, it also speeds up your runs. So it's a really good monster. If you happen to have him, and you're a free-to-play player, and you're having you know second thoughts whether to build him or not, you should build. If you have any questions or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below. That's it for our tour with Akamomir. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.